Oh, hey everybody, Rick Beato here. I'd like to talk to you about one of my favorite scales. It's my secret weapon. It's called the Double Harmonic Major Scale. You're gonna learn more from this lesson than anyone I've ever taught. Let's get started. Let's talk about the construction of the scale and the modes associated with it. So the construction of the scale is essentially a major scale with a flat two and a flat six. So you have two different augmented seconds in the scale. One, flat two, three, four, five, flat six, seven. So you've got C, D flat, E, F, G, A flat, B. So <clears throat> between the, the D flat and the E is an augmented second. And between A flat and B is an augmented second, like you'd have in the, uh, in the harmonic minor scale. You have the major third here. So if we look at this, here's the mode. So double harmonic major scale uh, is the first mode. Mode number two is the Lydian sharp two, sharp six mode. It's pretty easy to figure out. If you take a Lydian mode, which has a sharp four in it, and then we just add the sharp two and sharp six to it, we get the scale. One, sharp two, three, sharp four, five, sharp six, major seven. So it'd start on D flat, and uh, it would give you a major chord, because we have one, three, five, okay? D flat, F, A flat would be the two chord triad in the key. The third mode is the ultra Phrygian mode. Let me finish spelling out Phrygian, there we go. It's built on a minor chord, one, flat three, five, but we have one, flat two, flat three, flat four, so that's different than a Phrygian scale, five, flat six, that's the same as Phrygian, and then double flat seven. That would be the third mode. Okay, the fourth mode of the double harmonic major scale is Hungarian minor. Many of you may be familiar with that, or some of you may be. Some people think that that would be its own scale that would have its own set of modes, but it's one of the modes of, of this scale. We have a one, two, flat three, sharp four, five, flat six, major seven. Essentially, it's a harmonic minor scale with a sharp four in it, okay? The uh, fifth scale degree has kind of an oddball thing to it. This is the oriental scale or the oriental mode. One, flat two, three, four, flat five, six, flat seven. Here's the tricky part. We have a major third and a flat fifth. So I notate that as a major triad with a flat fifth. So we'll call it a major flat five triad, okay? This actually happens in certain scales. We haven't really talked about it before. It actually happens in other scales and I've avoided talking about it till now till we got into some more of the exotic scales. But that's a legitimate triad that you can have. Uh, the sixth mode is Ionian augmented sharp two. Now you remember from the harmonic minor scale, you have an Ionian augmented scale, which is a major scale with a sharp five. Well, this is a major scale with a sharp two and sharp five. So one sharp two, three, four, sharp five, six, major seven. The triad built on it is an augmented triad. And the seventh mode, of the double harmonic major scale is Locrian double flat three, double flat seven. Okay, Locrian, you know, you have one, flat two, flat three, four, flat five, flat six, flat seven. So what we do, because that augmented interval gives you some really odd uh, scale degrees here, we have a double flatted third and a double flatted seven. So if we start on the note B in the scale, you have the notes B, C, D flat, E, right? So you have that augmented interval there. Uh, F, G, A flat. And the chord built on it would be a diminished flat three chord. So we have got one double flat three, flat five. The last two are kind of oddball chords. Now let's go in and sit down and listen to what these chords sound like. Okay, we're gonna go through the chords really quickly. There's 48 of them. I've got a keyboard that you're gonna see the layout of as I play them. Now there's gonna be a lot of chords you're not familiar with. There's three different augmented six chords, for example, that are found in the triads and seventh chords of the key. Pay special attention to the naming of the chords.
Here's a short piece I composed from the C double harmonic major scale. Check it out. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel and remember to ring the bell, hit the notification button. Also, if you're interested in the Beato book, you can go to my website at rickbeato.com. Remember, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and leave a comment. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.